Hello everyone and welcome to Camping with Lenny. In this episode, Merry Christmas! Let's eat. This episode is brought to you by me, Camping with Lenny. Help me create great content by supporting this podcast by buying me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash campinglenny. Thanks for your support. Merry Christmas, everyone. If you're spending this time and watching this video with your family, Merry Christmas. If you decide to watch this between meals, welcome and Merry Christmas. And if you decide to watch this episode while eating in front of your TV with your family, even better, Merry Christmas. So today is the day that we're going to be experimenting with freeze-dried food. So because it's Christmas, we'll be doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, I have various selection in front of me. Um, so we're going to start with something simple uh, for breakfast. We'll be doing scrambled eggs and granola bars. This come from uh, Mountain House. Uh, they're supposed to be really good. I don't know. I haven't tried them yet. For lunch, we're gonna have chili mac and with, sorry, chili mac with beef. So uh, from Mountain House as well too. Uh, for dinner, we're going to be having uh, risotto with chicken from Backpackers Pantry. And for dessert, we'll be having a cinnamon apple oats also from backpackers pantry so we're gonna have all this today and i'm gonna be trying it out and see how good it is uh so we're gonna make this very genuine uh it will be nice to do this camping but unfortunately i got injured so i can't really go camping right now uh but uh our goal is to eat this inside the pack itself how it's supposed to be designed and, our, and at the end of the day, at the end of this episode, we're gonna be reviewing every single one of them after each meal. Um, I'm gonna give you the real scope of how this actually tastes like. Um, so I just wanna give you guys a heads up that uh, Mountain House and Backpackers Pantry did not, give me, did not give me any of this. I bought this with my own money. And I'm gonna give you the truth, unfiltered, honest review of this, of, of this meal. And um, hopefully it helps you guys going forward for your meals. And um, yeah, hopefully it tastes good. I'm hoping if you guys listen to my first episode of this podcast, you might understand why I'm a little hesitant on doing this kind of uh, uh, meals again, because um, let's just say I did not get a good sense of deliciousness. So with that said, let's start with breakfast. So we're gonna do granola bars and scrambled eggs. I'm gonna heat up some water and um, we'll start from there. Let me get back to you guys. So today we're gonna to have breakfast. Well, now we're having breakfast. We're gonna have scrambled egg and granola bars. Before that, I wanna show you guys this. This is a, um, a mug, uh, Star Wars mug Christmas decor. So this is what I'm gonna be using for Christmas. Bref, Christmas breakfast. In other words, so uh, let's begin. I'm gonna be, I just heat up my water. I'm gonna start uh, putting this together. Hold on, I'm just gonna put this in mute. Uh, so we're gonna be doing scrambled egg, scrambled egg and granola bars. According to this package, you're supposed to let this sit for five minutes. Well, scrambled egg does, five minutes. And for the granola bars, you just have to remove this card, blah, blah, blah. Half a cup, stir through well. Okay, so I don't really need to prep this. This is the one that's gonna be prepped even more. So, okay, let's start with this. So when you open one of these, you have to make sure that uh, a packet, this thing is out from your um, package before it goes. So this is what it looks like. So it's not very appetizing when you got it. So you're supposed to pour in a cup of water, both boiling water. Unfortunately, there is no line on the um, on the on the package to let you know where the line is. But if, to be honest with you guys, if you're planning to go out and about, and you don't have a cup measuring cup of water, uh, this this the requirements of having one cup is kind of useless. Uh, it would be nice to actually have a line saying this is where the water is supposed to be. Unfortunately, you don't have it here. So that's, in my opinion, that's a fail for Mountain House not providing that line. Um, I'm just looking inside, there's really nothing there. So what I'm gonna do is um, pretend I'm actually camping. So I'm gonna pretend it's what is considered a cup of water. 
It's a cup of water or eight uh, fluid ounce or 250 ml of boiling water. And wait for five minutes and reseal. Sorry, wait for five minutes, stir again and reseal. So after you put the water in there, seal it, stir it, seal it again. It's supposed to let it sit for another four minutes. So it's a, it's a 10 minute ordeal or nine minutes if you want to be precise. So let's try this out. Again, this is my, oh dear. Hopefully I don't burn myself. I know myself, I'll be burning myself. Okay. Have a, a cup. Let's see what cups looks like. I assume a cup is, depending how mushy you want your, that looks like a cup. That looks like a cup, hopefully. So, okay, let's just seal this. Okay. So, I'll turn on my alarm here, my, hold on here. So, five minutes, five minutes. Timer, five minutes. Okay, well, we're waiting for five minutes. So, I just wanna guess, so if you're planning to boil water, please be very, very careful because uh, um, I already burned myself twice because, um, well, it's me. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing as well too. I do have food allergies, so I'm very, very careful regarding what I'm eating. So, uh, if you're planning to buy freeze-dry food or camping food or anything food that uh, you're planning to go with while camping, I do apologize. I got a fire alarm, um, fire truck behind me. Um, read, in, read ingredients and what it's contained of, uh, because some some manufacturers do require to put what is the ingredients itself, and especially if you are allergic, at least you can flag it immediately. There are tons of varieties out there that you can get uh, from uh, from different manufacturers. You can also get the MRE. The meals ready to eat from uh, from Army Surplus. I've tried them before. I did I, I did eat them for my first camping solo trip back in May, and to be honest with you guys, it is very good. Despite the uh, some disappointment I had with that meal, uh, some of the components are very very good. I definitely recommend them if you want to get into uh, freeze dry food. Uh, if you are planning to go to this route as well too for your future camping trip, make sure that uh, you buy them try them at home, eat them, see which one you like, and just go from it. Um, and just to be honest with you guys, I never tried Mountain House before. Um, I, I have several friends that actually tried it and they do swear by it. They said it's pretty good. Um, but uh, I question their taste sometimes, especially in food wise. So um, I, uh, I think it's a great salt. So I ending up, uh, love you guys, <laughs> I ending up uh, just grabbing, um, I went to my local uh, mountain equipment co-op and my local sale, it's a shop in, in Canada. Uh, they do have freeze dry, so I got them there and uh, to test them out. Uh, it's kind of funny though, because when I was there, it took me um, a good old, I was in a wall of food for the past, uh, like for about 45 minutes, trying to figure out which one I want to take. And there was so much varieties. I have to look in every single ingredients because of, again, my food allergies. So that's what I have to do. So according to my timer that I have two more minutes left. So according to this, wait, uh, okay. Let's go stir this guy up a bit. Well, according to this, it's uh, wait five minutes, stir again and reseal. So we're going to do the full five minutes. Um, but yeah, if you guys are hungry, you're kind of, out of luck if you're hungry. So if you're planning to wait for your meal, make sure you have some granola bars and make sure you have that so you can start that eating first so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, waiting, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So what do you guys, I'm, to be honest, I was hoping my lights, my Christmas lights would be showing up, but I'm doing this during the day. So it's kind of bright outside. And uh, hopefully this evening's uh, dinner will be a lot brighter. You can actually see the, uh, the Christmas lights. But uh, yeah, I'm just rambling now, waiting for the five minutes. So so you can plainly see that it does take a while for you guys to, um, to eat if you guys are waiting. And this is real life camping. So this is real life stuff. Five minutes is five minutes, right guys? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. We just have to wait for five minutes. Well, let me get back to you when it's 
done. Twenty six seconds left, and um, we're just gonna wait for 20, 20 seconds left. So. I'm an impatient man, I'm getting hungry, so I'm just gonna stop this now and uh, open it and see what it looks like. According to the instructions, stir it and reseal it for another four minutes. So I got my trusty spoon here. It does smell good, guys. It does smell good. I'm not denying that at all. So it is a little mushy. I wish I had my GoPro here, okay. Well, I'm doing a four minutes, I'll grab my GoPro and um, you guys can see this wonderful meal here. Okay, so. Okay, it is hydrating. So I'll put this aside. So according to this, uh, you have to wait another four minutes. So resealing it. And then our four minutes and start. More waiting. I'll be back. Found my GoPro. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's actually hydrating. I also have about a minute left, so I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Because again, I'm a very impatient man. So this is what it looks like, guys, inside. It's not it's not uh, hold on, let me focus. It's not very appetizing. Not at all, but it is very interesting. I think um, for Mountain House not providing a um, a, uh, a line to show where the uh, where the one cup is is a fail on them because um, again I'm just looking all over the package with just really nothing there to tell you where the line is for uh, for one cup. Um, I'm just looking at uh, backpackers here. Um, I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what's inside. But there's really not, there's no line inside, uh, like outside as well. So uh, if you guys are listening, you need to put something to indicate where the cup is because I know if you're backpacking, um, you're not gonna have a measuring cup with you. You'll have whatever you have to go camping. And for them not showing, oh, this is done. For you not showing that line, it's it's a failure. It's it's very disappointing, incredibly disappointing. Hmm. Okay. So add in our four minutes after we seal it. Be careful. Drain the excess water from pouch. Well, well, that's amazing. Okay, hold on. Let's tear this up and see if, if it absorbs a lot of water. It says it, it drained the excess water. I'm gonna just dig underneath here. Oh, look at that, there's actually bacon here. There's actually bacon. So, um, you can actually see the bacon here. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there is bacon. So that's good. Um, but I don't know how good this is gonna be. So. Okay, let me drain this water and let me get back to you guys. Okay, is there something in this one? What ingredients enjoy each part? Okay, let me drain the water. Uh, this is uh, this is a little complicated, it's supposed to be. It should not be this complicated. But um, yeah, let me drain the water uh, according to this. Drain excess water and let's go try this out and how this tastes like. Uh, I'll be back. So, water has been drained. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit more edible. Uh, you can see chunks, uh, you can see bacon in this thing. This comes with bacon, pork bacon. Uh, it's, this is non vegetarian or non vegan, so there is bacon, chunks of bacon there. Not chunks, but bacon. Um, so, we are going to test this out. Um, so, the good thing about this thing, this actually has a gusset underneath here. So when you actually lay this down on the ground or your table, it's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna like tip over. So that's good. That's very good. Uh, gussets are good. So yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna eat this as what it is. There's no salt in either. I'm not gonna add any um, any seasoning in this one. We're gonna test it out as is. 
um, because I haven't had breakfast yet, so this is my breakfast. Okay, first bite. good it's not um, it's not disgusting it's not like eggs from a five-star restaurant or your own kitchen but it's actually pretty good hmm. I'm just looking around my table here to see if I have any ketchup or salt and pepper but um, well, it's actually pretty well seasoned. There is a sea salt, sugar, natural smoke flavor cured under bacon. It is made of real eggs, according to this. Liquid egg. Stabilizer and glucose removed. Um... If you are planning to eat this, guys, if um, leave it more, for more than uh, for more, let, let's sit longer. Um, yeah, the eggs. Um, the eggs itself is um, very fluffy and. Um, you know it's freeze dry because you can taste the. Um, it's still not fully absorbed the water, but the texture. If you follow the um, the um, instructions on trying to get this thing back to back to some, like you know normal, normal, quote unquote. Um, Leave it longer than five, 10 minutes. Seriously, leave it longer than 10 minutes. Let the water absorb the, uh, let the, uh, sorry, the freeze dried eggs absorb right into, uh, absorb the water, including the bacon itself. But uh, after that, you're fine. I give this, well, I'll give you guys the results later on after this. But um, I'm not mad. I'm not happy, but I'm not mad. If in a pinch, if you're going high height, this is a great alternative. This is a good food source. Not source, I mean, but um, you know what I mean. But um, <clears throat> some some of the bacon is pretty hard. Um, that's fine too. Some people like hard bacon. I particularly don't. I like mine a little soft. But um, it's good. I don't mind it. If you're backpacking, if you need to take this, you should. But if you're car camping or with a tent and a car beside you, you don't need any of this. It's almost done. Um, yeah, it's almost done. I am eating this. It's actually in a bind. Yeah, I'll definitely eat this. Like not in bind, but if I'm backcountrying, I'll definitely eat this. I keep calling it a bind. I mean, it's not a bind, guys. It's a, it's a, it's a choice that you want to bring with you. This is an option for you guys to bring this because it's a great option. It's a very good option. Freeze dry food for your backcountry. 
But um, for car camping, it's there's other options out there like real eggs, real bacon. But um, yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at this. I don't know why I keep eating, but it's actually pretty good. Plus on top of that too, if you don't have a choice, you have to eat it anyway, so. <laughs> the eggs itself, you know it's not, you know it's definitely freeze dry. It's like um, the eggs texture is like eating wet bread. Soak bread before it becomes too soaky or before I absorb all the water. That's what the texture tastes like. It is like, um, if you grab a bread and dip it to coffee, that's the texture it tastes like. The bacon is very small chunks. Um, let's see if I can get a bacon here. Here. This is what it tastes like. Uh, this is what it looks like. I'm just focusing. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Very chunky. My goodness. I forgot how. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Sorry. That's what it looks like. Very chunky. It's not big. It's like. It's chunky enough that you can actually taste it and feel it. Take a bite on it. Mm -hmm. I just want the bacon. <laughs> yeah, the bacon. The bacon is actually what is advertised. To be honest, it has a nice. In, there's enough salt content in the bacon to flavor to give that flavor and the. Uh, on, on the meal itself, um, there's there's enough bacon. It's, all, it's like, if I guess, it's about two strips of bacon chopped, very fine. And um, yeah, it's, bacon is very good. Like, it's really good. It's like smoked bacon for sure. You can definitely smell, you can taste the smokiness of the bacon. Um, the salt content is good. I like, really like the salt content. It's not overpowering salt. It's not too much salt, but it's enough salt that it gives a flavor. Um, pepper wise, there's no pepper in this. I don't taste any pepper. If you are planning to have this and you like pepper, uh, you like to put pepper in your food, bring pepper. If not, bring hot sauce. If you're just eating this out of the bag, it's, and if you like big flavors, definitely bring your spice, your spices, then you're, um, then you're good to go. Um, but overall, it's good breakfast. Very good breakfast. Yeah. Now, this is done. Time to have a granola bar. Granolas. Well, with milk and berries. Um, same thing. I'm going to this ready in 10 minutes. Okay, like literally says they're ready in 10 minutes. Yeah, zoom in. There you go. Ready in 10 minutes. But um, according to the instruction at the back, it doesn't say how long it's supposed to do. Here's the fun part carefully add half a cup, four fluid ounce or 125 mil cold or boiling water. Again, I don't see any markings in this package to tell you where is half a cup. Steer thorough to wet all ingredients and enjoy right out of the pouch. Again, there is no line or indication where the half a half of water is supposed to be, half a cup of water. So let's open this up and see what it actually looks like. First coffee. Mm. Good coffee. No. I think I should do a coffee review for camping. Uh, yeah, I should do that. That'll be very fun to do, actually, to be honest with you. 
because I love coffee. So, okay. Ooh. Okay, so don't forget to remove your pouch thingy here, your absorbent. Yeah. Yeah, the absorbent <laughs> out of your pack. You don't want to eat that. Um, this is a blueberry freeze dried. So FYI, I'm not a big fan of blueberries. Like I do not like anything that has the word berries in it, like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, anything like that. I'm not a big fan of. I'll eat it, but I'm not a big fan of. The only time I'll eat it is uh, if it's covered in chocolate. But uh, this is what it looks like. So it's not bad. It's uh. It's, yeah, out of pack, it's actually pretty good. It looks pretty interesting. There is a big chunks of berries. There's a lot of chunk berries in there, like a lot of berries. You can actually see it. So at least it's not like flavored, right? Okay, so we'll just put some water in this. I'm gonna half a cup, so I'm gonna judge what this half a cup is. Well, FYI, um, yeah, FYI, there's no line to indicate half a cup is inside so according to the instruction mix very well until it's absorbed so i am using hot water like leftover hot water for my breakfast again i'm pretending i'm camping Ooh, looks looks good yum 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 <laughs> i'm not being sarcastic but i do love granola granola so um well you can actually smell the blueberries and the milk the milk is powdered milk so it is it is absorbing it, so that's good. It smells really good. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, it does smell really, really good. Um, I like my granola is a little soft, so I'm gonna leave the seal for a bit, let it absorb. According to this, you don't have to just eat when it's ready, but I like mine a little softer. Um, yeah, definitely. If you are doing anything freeze dry or anything like that, or if it dry ingredients like granola, let it absorb for a bit because it makes it easier to eat. Um, at the same time too, again, Mountain House, where is the line indicated where the where your water level is? Because I don't see anything outside. I, I did look inside. There's nothing. There's really nothing there to indicate it. Again, if, if this is if this is slated or or designed for backpackers for for backcountry um they're not going to bring a measuring cup if they do they'll have a ha they'll have a cup to drink their coffee at or whatever they end up using that's all they're going to use and for them to measure half a cup it doesn't make any sense so i'm a little disappointed i'm incredibly even mres have a line to say where the water is supposed to be stopping it's a simple print you can have it at the back of this pouch to say this is for half a cup is or here's where the cup is anything like that it will help so much for uh, for people's actually camping especially if they're um if it's raining if they have to set up their tent and it's raining and they're stuck inside their camp and they just want to eat and sleep that's all they want to do and for them to guess where half a cup is and cup is uh, that's an extra step that they have to figure it out um that's what, again i'm gonna keep hounding this review regarding those little minor things because it's, it's such a minor detail that it makes a major 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 it's a big it's a big thing it's a it's a very big thing uh one thing again they have gussets here i'm gonna here's the, here's the gussets right here this is good very very well done um i like this again you can leave it in, leave it in your table on the ground it's not gonna tip over that's good okay Again, I'm not a big fan of blueberries. Let's see how this tastes like. Um, okay. So I'm gonna grab my GoPro here. Let's see what it looks like right here. Let's see, it's well, well, well covered blueberries with milk and granola bars. So okay, let's try this out. Again, I'm not a big fan of blueberries. Well, you anyway. One more. Mm. 
Enggak. 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 So. Enggak. This is really good. This is really, really good. I'm not a big fan. Again, I'm not a blueberry kind of person. But with, 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 the, with the combination of blueberries, uh, sorry, the combination of the granola and, and milk, this is really good. This is really good. Okay. Mm. Here it is. Sorry. The granola has oat, well, oats, of course, uh, brown sugar, coconut, and high, and sun, uh, sun, sunflower oil, sesame seed. The milk is uh, is skim milk powdered, freeze dried blueberries, sweet cream solids, natural vanilla flavor. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. <laughs> um, you can taste the brown sugar. You can definitely taste the blueberries. You can taste the skim milk. Powder form. Um, the sweetness is not very overpowering, but it's nice and leveled with the granola itself. Um, the milk itself, the free, the powdered milk. They added enough powdered milk here to provide enough substance to, the, uh, to make it. Uh, you can taste the milk, but it's not overpowering. But the the granola itself, sorry, the blueberries actually the, the it hot, it's the highlight of the meal. To be honest with you, the granola, uh, the uh, the blueberries it gives you nice sweetness to it and texture to it, but the uh, the brown sugar in the granola it gave that sweetness to uh, it, it matched the sweetness of the blueberry, but at the same time gives it a nice, nice sharpness to it. So it's very nice. Um, the granola itself is. It's not chunk. It isn't chunked up. It's some granolas you can actually get it really chunky. Uh, this one's actually pretty. Um, it isn't chunk up when it gets wet, so it's nice. Mm. But um, there's a lot though. There's a lot. The um. This is considered um, one serving, uh, one serving, or one portion of 113 grams. If you are planning to have a granola, uh, this this method, the granola with milk and blueberry, don't have this. It's either or. It's not like, oh, I might get hungry, so I'm gonna have eggs and, and granola. You don't need to. I thought that's gonna be the case. I'll be very hungry, and I'll have to eat eggs and granola in the same time to get my uh, calorie intake for today, uh, for this morning or if I'm gonna hiking all that stuff this is enough like you can literally have this for breakfast do your hike clean up and if you get hungry you can eat one of these halfway so it's, it's like your 11 C's or your 11 C's before your dinner before your lunch if you guys don't know what 11 C's is watch uh, read token <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's um, this is a great snack in between, especially if you're trying to keep your calories up, especially if you're hiking. If you don't, if you're not planning to go hiking, if, if you're just uh, car camping, you don't need both. You can only uh, I suggest you just choose one and stick with it because it's it's worth it. To be honest, it's very good. It's it's good. It's a good selection. But if I have um, overall favorite. I'm actually not even trying to get the blueberries now. I'm actually picking out the blueberries out of my spoon. Mm. 
if I have a choice, either or, I'll choose this. This is way better than this. So, this is better than this. But if you want eggs, so far this is the best freeze dried eggs I ever had so far. Especially if you're backcountry. If you're car camping, buy yourself a 12, car, 12 eggs and just have your eggs there. It tastes so much better. But um, again, I'm very surprised with this. I'm very happy with this. I can't eat anymore. And so I wish I started with this because I definitely enjoy this very much. So that's breakfast. I'll see you guys lunchtime. It's lunchtime. So we're having macaroni and chili with beef. This is from Mountain House. Uh, so from the uh, lunch that I had, or sorry, breakfast that I had this morning, it was a, um, a good start of the Christmas day meals. So it's time for lunch. So what we're going to do is going to have this. It's the same thing. Uh, pour hot water and let's let it wait for five minutes this time. So a total of, um, well, five, uh, nine minutes. Same thing, nine minutes, nine, ten minutes. Um, this one has beef, rosemary, uh, rosemary extract, by the way, salt, seasoned with chili peppers, onions, sea salt, um, cumin seeds, yeast extract, paprika, cane sugar, garlic, salt, malt uh, extract, kidney beans, cornstarch, and tomato paste. So this is more overall rounded meal. Um, contains wheat and barley. So <laughs> there you go. So let's open this up and um, let's begin. Okay, so, okay, so, interesting. Don't forget the packets to be removed. Uh, my trusty GoPro here. Um, there it is, this is what it looks like. Uh, you get macaroni, you get beef, I think, and beans in here as well. Um, yeah, so we'll, um, we'll get this guy started with water. According to this, you're supposed to put uh, one and a half cups of water. Again, no labels that indicate the one and a half cups, and also the uh, the uh, the the sealing to seal the the uh, content in during the water. It's pretty low. Like, look at the um, look at where the uh, <coughs> the hold on, let me get this correct. Look at where this is located. There you go. Sorry, like this. It's pretty big and about an inch and a half on top of it is gone. So you only have, no, oh, hold on, I've go, uh, got a camera here. You only have this left to uh, to to use. So it's um, not very sh deep to put one and a half cups of water. All right, let's try this out. Again, this is the same issue we're having before. They don't have enough, um, um, they, there's, no, there's no labels for water. So hopefully, I, hopefully I'm, I'm, I'll put enough water to be on top. This says here to uh, enjoy the, let's, yeah, it doesn't even say to, strain, uh, to remove excess water. But uh, let's go check it out. Let's try this out. Let's add the water. I also want to add as well too, there is a gusset here as well too, so it will not uh, fall down. Uh, this is about one and a half. Okay, so let's seal this guy up and wait for 10 minutes. Okay, put the timer on. Five minutes first, then uh, five minutes to uh, let rest. Okay. So let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the uh, yeah let's talk about the disappointment of this 
package. Back to the uh, breakfast section uh, of this little endeavor we're having. The biggest concern I have is just there's no water indicator. I keep hounding that over and over again because uh, if you're a backpacker and if you're doing backcountry, you're not going to have access to measuring cups. If you do, good for you. But if you, if you want to travel light and minimize your... Um, equipment that you're bringing with you, for you not to have, as a manufacturer, not having an indicator regarding water levels, it's just, I hate the word, I hate to use this word, dumb. <laughs> it's, it, this is an honest review of this product, guys. It's, uh, it's a simple, a simple marking like that will help everyone out significantly, right? And um, like, for example, the eggs, it literally says in a labor label, remove excess water. If you're backpacking and you're limited with water supply and how much you're carrying, every single drop of water is is this necessity, right? If you don't have access to a stream, for example, or to a lake, you're taking you're removing excess water. So it just doesn't make any sense for me to. Uh, well, it doesn't make sense, I and mean, this this thing does not make any sense. But if you can't, if you do use this product or any of the freeze dry product, and uh, and if you have a way to measure your water without bringing water or guesstimating, please let me know. I'll leave it in your comments um, in the description in the comment section because I really want to know how this actually works uh, for for people that uh, goes backpacking because. For me, I go car camping and um, I don't normally take this guys with me because again, I don't really need it, right? But uh, in this situation, especially if you're going car camping or winter camping, um, doesn't matter if you have a stove or not, it's just nice to have a meal that's already ready for you. You just have to eat, right? And for me and for a manufacturer limiting themselves with, with uh, not having a water level, it's kind of baffling. But the uh, good news is, this does have a gusset, a gusset. So I'm not sure if you can see it, I don't wanna pour it. I don't wanna, you see that? You can see the gusset. Again, great design of the package for this one. The food so far, what I've been tasting is fantastic. It's not gourmet, but my goodness, it's it's really good. And I'm very, very happy with, the, uh, with this, uh, what I'm getting so far, so. Uh, my light, <laughs> my light just died. <laughs> so I've had a minute here, a uh, minute, uh, minute and forty-five. So um, let's go back. Uh, I'll get back to you when it gets closer to uh, to see what this thing inside looks like. Okay, I'm back. So I have fifteen seconds left of my five-minute timer. So we're going to look what's inside and how it's actually been absorbing. So. Wait five minutes, stir again, and uh, reseal for another five minutes after that. So let's go check this out. Okay, that's done. Let's go open this guy up. Ooh. Okay, hold on here. Not bad so far. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay, let me steer this up and, uh, and see what this looks like, okay? Hmm. Smells really good. There is powder. Like, there is some powdering. Almost like a, yeah, almost like a powder base here. Let me go grab the other camera here. So yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. Um, I'm not, the macaroni looks pretty, uh, still hasn't hydrated properly yet, so. Uh, we're gonna continue what the uh, label, the instruction says to, um, after you mix it, reseal it for another five minutes. So we'll do that. So we'll follow the instruction exactly. Um, go from there. Okay, hold on, let me reseal this. Hmm. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, so five minutes start. Is that far? No, let it four minutes. Let it stand an additional four minutes. Stir it, enjoy the ride in your port. 
uh, enjoy right out of the pouch. So with that said, um, eating through the pouch itself, using the pouch is actually very good. It's good. Okay. Despite the, <laughs> the issue I'm already having with the uh, overall uh, uh, labeling regarding the water levels, the, the pouch that I'm getting from um, from Mountain House is actually pretty good because they're wide, like they're wide. Uh, so you have room to put your uh, utensils in to scoop up the food that you need. Also, um, it's I understand why it's wide. It's, I understand now why it's wide and why it's uh, like not as high to eat because you want to get that, you want to get your spoon and you want to get the, uh, uh, the your meals into your spoon properly and getting getting deep into that and trying to get that food as much as you can so um so far packaging is good uh the gusset helps a lot um yeah so i'm pretty uh pretty stoked about this um again don't forget to grab this thing out of your package before you eat you don't want to eat this guys because it will be bad for you um Again, I'm planning to eat this meal without any salt and pepper. It's just natural flavor built into this. I know some uh, food manufacturers don't put too much salt or pepper just to keep it. Uh, give, it they'll provide enough uh, flavor to the food, but not too overwhelming. They're making that decision based. They're gonna make the um, the the users or the, the persons eating it to add additional flavors like salt, pepper, or hot sauce, or whatever. But uh, so far the eggs were pretty darn good. Um, the bacon makes it a lot saltier. It's really nice. The granola was amazing. I was, again, I'm not a big fan of anything that has the word berries in it. And this one was brilliant. It's wonderful. And I'm very, very happy that I had a chance to, to try it out because I was very happy with it. Um, I am incredibly hungry. I have like literally two and a half minutes left and uh, <sighs> waiting. This is the part I don't like about cooking or rehydrating food again is the waiting part. So I'm gonna, I'll come back uh, when it gets closer to uh, start this again. Timer's done. So let's go check this out. Let's open it up and see what it looks like after letting it sit for another another uh, four minutes um, let me grab my camera out of here uh, so this is what I have this is what it looks like not bad not bad at all looks good looks good so let's um, stir it up a bit more okay here comes the first bite let's go try this out Okay. The the flavor is very very good. It has a nice heat heat to it. Like it has a nice heat to it. It's not hot or salty it's not like spicy hot it's actually it's a nice peppery heat to it um the texture okay yeah. i have a problem with the texture here um According to the instruction, you're supposed to pour in one and a half cups of water. I'm doing this based on real life scenario here. You don't have a measuring cup. You have to rely on your best judgments. Um, I definitely did not put enough water. So that's one. Because again, I keep hounding this over and over again. There is no line or indication where the water level is supposed to be. Okay. Um, 
macaroni is a little hard. Some of them are hard. That's a pro um, that's not. If you if you're hitting fifty percent of uh, all my macaroni is supposed to be where, where it's supposed to be, that's actually pretty bad. Uh, the beef. You know the beef is freeze dry because they're they're still pretty hard. Um, there's incredibly al dente if you can think about it. That's literally the texture of it's al dente. Um, the beans is uh, the beans are well hydrated, so that's good. Um, overall, I'm very very happy with the. Um, with the results of the uh, of the ma of the of this meal, because um, again I'm gonna get a GoPro action uh, uh, image here. Uh, it's it's very well made. I really do like it. Lack of having that uh, that line uh, that water line is actually affecting how I'm eating this. How I'm actually uh, tasting this. The texture of every single. Um, item in this meal excluding the beans was slightly hard because again there's not enough water that I put in there um, the second one the beans were perfectly uh, uh, hydrated so that's good um, man th this meal is actually pretty good I... despite the negativity that I'm putting in the um, overall overall this review the meal itself is very good, like incredibly good. Like, I don't have to put any additional uh, seasoning in this one because it's seasoning it's seasoned perfectly, so no additional seasoning is required. Yeah. No additional seasoning. I wish there's more water. <laughs> not having the additional, um, not having the additional water, like not measuring the water according according to the package, and not having a measuring cup. You know, I'm testing this in real world scenario. The the persons who are gonna buy this next, or if you are planning to get a mountain house, um, freeze dry. Do yourself a favor, bring yourself a measuring cup to get the right water consistency, uh, water requirements. Because um, this meal is delicious, but having not having a water line. Is ruining the experience overall, in my opinion. I will give an overall review of each each um, meals at the end. So now you're gonna just watch me eat now. <laughs> Oh, one thing that I noticed too, with this meal, or both actually all three meals so far from Mountain House, um, it's probably gonna be the same thing for the uh, for the backpackers pantry. If you ask you to steer, steer it properly, because it will it will stir, they do use they do they do use powder, so um, as part it, when you freeze dry something, I think it turns into powder. If you stir that up, it will it will help me. It will make the uh, the eating more enjoyable. It's pretty really good though. It's really really good. Like this is my lunch. So.
Okay. I have nothing to say. It's delicious. I, it, I have really nothing to say about this meal. It's very delicious. So I'm gonna keep eating. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. So the meal is almost done. And um, yeah, I did check the reviews of this particular uh, um, meal. The, um, the chili mac and beef is getting a very good review overall and um, on Mountain House's um, website. And I agree with them 100%. The flavor is very, very good. It's very well made. It's one of my favorites so far. Um, despite the negative stuff that I've been saying about the, the overall packaging, overall, is this is a very good meal. This is my favorite so far. I'm glad I'm having this for lunch, but I can't wait for dinner. And um, I'm very excited about the, the dessert. So we'll find out about that if it's... Uh, if they both manufacture um, Backpackers Pantry and Mountain House are equivalent taste-wise. But um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Use more water. Oh yeah, use more water. Hmm, forgot to mention. Sorry. Now uh, the spoon I'm using is just a straightforward spoon. Uh, I had this spoon for a while now. Uh, it's just a steel spoon. Um, very narrow handle, you can clearly see. With, uh, with a, a very, not very deep um, spoon part, the shovel. <laughs> I don't know what it's actually called, but uh, it's uh, it's nice. It's great because like, I've been using this for camping once in a while, and uh, it's a nice scoop. It's great for uh, broth and thing, uh, broth and um, and uh, and just to pick up food from a package like this. Don't ask me where I got it. I just inherited it somehow, <laughs> but uh, I'm very happy with this uh, with this spoon and this meal overall. I like the beans. The beans is not very. Uh, in or front of the meal, it's the uh, it's the spice to it. It's the, the flavor of it. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for joining me for lunch. I'll see you guys for dinner. It's dinner time. So tonight's dinner, it's going to be a risotto with chicken, and for dessert, we are going to have cinnamon apple oats. Um. Okay. So. Again, we'll try this out and uh, let's have dinner. Um, according to this, it's just add water again. <laughs> okay. Now they're asking me to add one and three quarter cups of water without any water line indication from the package from the back or in the front. Um, I got this feeling there's nothing inside as well to, to let me know if I reach the one cup and three quarters mark line so uh, let's go what's inside oh by the way this is from the uh, from the backpackers pantry same thing is for the dessert so let's see if this actually has the uh, the markings to let me know that i reached the the uh one cup and three quarters oh surprise surprise there isn't any there's, don't forget to remove this, the, uh, the thingy. Yeah, there's nothing inside to let me know that um, that there's no indication of where the water line is supposed to be. So I'm not surprised that this doesn't have one either, similar to uh, Mountain House. So that's a strike one already for the backpacker's pantry. So let's go put some water in this thing. Uh, again, one and three quarter cups, that's 420 mil of boiling water, steer, uh, steel, uh, steer well, seal pouch, wait for eight minutes, and do it again and add another seven minutes right after. Here's hot water, let's do this. Mm. 
Yeah, it's close enough, I think. Okay. That's not enough, I think. That's about right now. Okay, so water is sealed. Uh, water's in. So I guess GoPro's fogging up a bit. But there it is. Uh, I'm gonna seal this in. Wait for seven minutes. Okay, let's talk about the packaging for this, guys. Um, it's not as wide as Mountain House, but it is pretty high. It's pretty tall, I mean. And there is a gusset at the bottom. I'm sure if you see it. Um, it does hold well on the table. Um, yeah. The ingredient looks pretty good. Nothing really crazy that's um, popping out. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put the timer. I forgot to put a timer for eight minutes, and um, I'm gonna wait for the eight minute mark. And uh, I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, I'm in two minutes and twenty four seconds into my eight minute wait for this thing to hydrate. Um, I was just looking at the package itself and I realized a couple of things that uh, um, the direction that uh, they are providing is um, it's pretty simple actually it's, it's not that it's pretty easy to understand uh, but the one thing that they actually added on to their direction is the uh, the direction that they provided is is set for 5,000 feet of elevation. That's 1,524 meters, right? So, uh, so yeah. So they have the they have the rushes regarding the uh, regarding the um, uh, regarding the elevations that you're planning to to eat your meals at. So that's actually pretty interesting. Um, I've noticed as well too their uh, their their ingredients is um, is a lot more I don't want to say chemicals but a lot more artificial compared to Mountain House but uh, but I feel like their their meals a lot more complicated than Mountain House itself so again this is just a sample of their risotto with rice sorry risotto with chicken and uh, this is supposed to give me 580 calories uh, to be used throughout the day. So, yeah, I am in 30 second marks, so I'm starving. So I'm just gonna go straight to it. Let's go see what this looks like, shall we? Ooh, mm, it smells really good. Hold on here. Let's check, let's check this out. This looks pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And let's go steer this up even more. Okay, a couple of things I noticed. Ooh, big chunks of powder. A couple of things I noticed so far with this. With this package. Uh, the mountain has is wider. So, wider and not as tall. So you can use your, your utensils pretty easily. This one is um, taller, so it's harder to scoop inside. So you're, if you're planning to use something uh, utensil-wise, get yourself with a long stem, like longer stem, so you can actually use get your um, get your utensils right into the package itself. So um, hold on, let's see here. Um, use the GoPro here. This is what it looks like. Okay, so first bite. Let's see what this tastes like. Hot. 
It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, let me get eating and let you know what's what's up with this. Okay. Without having a waterline marked inside your pouch or outside, you're not gonna, if you are guessing or guesstimating the, the amount of water you're putting in here, there's a good chance that you're not gonna have the uh, the softest that you need or enough liquid to hydrate all your ingredients. So, the rice is a little hard. Again, I'm doing this real world testing without any water, um, without, a, without a measuring cup. Because who's gonna bring a measuring cup while you're hiking? It doesn't make any sense. So this is a fail of uh, to uh, it's a fail from backpackers, not having a line indicating the the water level. Also, uh, not having the water level, it actually um, it makes the rice a little hard. Um, so unfortunately, that's a fail. The uh, seasoning is actually very good. It's not very overpowering. It's not very salty or peppery. Um, it does have some herbs and spices to this one. Yeah, she has sea salt, garlic, dried garlic, a little bit of milk, a little bit of sugar, yeast, dried onions, dried bell peppers. Yeah, has a nice tangy to it. I think it's the, it's the tomatoes giving it a little bit of tangy. But uh, the chicken is very well. It's good, good chicken. There's a lot of chicken. Mm. Mm, I found chicken here. Mm. Yeah, there's chicken right there. So it's a good chunk of it's a good size of chicken. It's not big or small, it's actually a good size, a good size to take a bite on. The sodium in this one, the sodium is at uh, 3150 1, milligrams. It's a lot, um, but it's fine if, if you're planning to like hike after this meal, it's, it's worth it, right? The portion for this uh, for this meal is actually a lot, like a, a lot. One serving is net gram of 143 gram, 48 grams, and uh, it's gluten free. I didn't realize that, but yeah, no, it's um, it's very, very substantial actually. Okay, I'm gonna keep eating, let you know what happened after, and give you my uh, final thoughts on the, this meal. Okay, I'm back. Um, meal is about more than halfway done. Um, okay, let me put some thoughts in this food, in this uh, meal. While I'm eating, so. The flavor. It's very good. There's enough salt and pepper in the meal. I was hoping to be less salty. The reason why is um, you want the, the the person's eating the meal to add the salt or add additional salt to your meal. Because if uh, if a person's very sensitive to salt, this can be very salty to them. Um, regarding the peppers, like the ground pepper, again, same thing, it would be nice to have a little bit less let the uh, let the person who's eating it um, put those additional seasoning. Um, there's a lot of chicken in this meal, like a lot. I'm very surprised. Typically, you don't get to see this much chicken in this meal. Granted, if I'm paying fourteen ninety five Canadian for this meal, it better be full of chicken.
Um, the gravy that they put in here is very good. Again, without that water level indicator, the result is a little authentic for my liking, but uh, overall, it does work. It does work with uh, this whole meal, having the, uh, the result a little bit authentic. See the issue now? Because the, uh, the, pa the packaging itself is so tall rather than wide, scooping your meal is actually a lot harder than it should be. Like, look at how I'm holding my, my spoon. It's literally at the edge, just scoop up my food. They should reconsider redesign this to make it wider and smaller. Or shorter, I mean. Yeah. I'm scraping the last couple of um, spoonful. I enjoyed this. I really do enjoy this. Again, the salt is a little too high for me. But if I'm out and about, especially in the winter, this is really great because you need that salt content. You need that heaviness. You need the extra calories just to, um, you need that calories actually to keep you warm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a, it is parsley. I thought it was I thought it was parsley. It is a parsley and basil. They put parsley and basil in this in this in this meal. That's why it tastes like. That's why it's like there's something hint to it. I couldn't put my finger to it on it, but yeah, the meal is great. I enjoyed it. Okay, drink some water. Then time for dessert. So for dessert. We have cinnamon apple oats. It says here, add a cup of water, of boiling water, that's 240 milliliters. Stir well, seal the pouch, wait for five minutes, stir again, and enjoy. It has a gusset. We like gusset, gus, gussets. Gus, yeah, gus, gussets, yeah, <laughs> gussets. Uh, oh, cool, I just noticed something here. It says here, leave no trace, be kind to nature. That's pretty neat. Okay, so let's open this up and uh, add some water and try this dessert out. Oh, hold on. Okay, the packaging is kind of weird. It's like, it's been compressed. So. Okay. That's just weird. Here's the absorbent pads. One cup of water, here we go. Again, we're guessing because there's no lines or indication that that's just where the water is supposed to be. So one cup, I'll just presume it's just the top of the, uh, of the dessert here. Okay, so that looks like a cup to me. More. Ooh, I can smell it already. I can smell the cinnamon. Oh, 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 I like the smell of this. It smells like apple pie. Shake it, shake it. Oh, yes. According to this, so I have to wait for five minutes. Let's put the timer up. Five minutes. Let's actually time this correctly. Follow the instructions. Um, this one has a total of 340 calories. Sodium is only 
170 milligrams, so that's good. Again, it has the directions and the elevations that's been uh, been uh, been added to give you a proper idea how long it's supposed to take you to to hydrate the uh, the your dessert or your meal. I can't wait. This actually smells like apple pie. <laughs> it does smell like apple pie. And um, yeah, let's go check this out. So let me uh, get back to you when it gets closer to eating time. 30 seconds is up. I am ready to eat. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. It says here, uh, stir again and enjoy. So uh, let's go open this up and uh, have our dessert. I can actually smell the cinnamon, but uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. There it is. Looks like it's a, uh, uh, looks like, smells like, Smells like apple pie. So let's stir this up and see. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I can smell the cinnamon. What else is this here? The cinnamon. Hemp seed. I can see the hemp. Okay. Let's see if the smell matches the taste. Yeah. So. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. If you listen to this, if you listen to this podcast on audio only, you don't, you're not seeing my face here. Um, hold on, I always do a first bite. First bite is always a gimme. Let's just, my brain's processing the uh, the taste, so let's go for the second taste, a second bite here. What I'm gonna do is this. Oh, that didn't help. I'm gonna call this dessert done. <laughs> this is not that good. It smells amazing, but it's not that good. And it it's like. Um. Um, it's, um, it's not good. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. Um, it's too, it's literally the opposite of this. This is, this has seasoning that matches the taste and flavor and smell. This has the smell. But there's no, it's a lack of seasoning that makes it, yeah, it's not, like, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Um, this isn't, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't like this, this is not, um, I was hoping that it would be good i was really hoping this is going to be my my tense this is going to be my my dessert for christmas episode but it's not it's a uh filler you eat this to fill up your stomach because you need to this is not to enjoy for you to eat on um it's it's um it's disappointing it's not the best it's 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 not the best so um i'm gonna grab the um let me let me okay you know what i need to um 
Do I have any cinnamon? No, I don't have any cinnamon. So I can't really even fix this if I need to. Um, yeah, it's very disappointing. I'm very, very saddened that my final meal for Christmas and this special is this. I'm sorry, Backpackers Pantry. I was really hoping this, this is gonna be very, very good, but unfortunately it's not. It's not good at all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not good at all. Okay, so let's go for, uh, give me, uh, hold on, let me get back to you. Let me get everything set up for the, for my final thoughts and um, go from there. Final thoughts. Let's start with uh, breakfast here. Ugh, you know, I just realized something, the dessert, the cinnamon apple thing, you know what's missing? Sugar. It has sugar cane, but there's no sugar. I just want to put that there. Okay, we'll start with the scrambled eggs from uh, Mountain House. It's uh, out of five, five is the best, like really good. Then one is like, don't ever buy this because you're just gonna be disappointed with your life uh, rating. Um, I give this about a four. The reason why I'm giving this a four is because of the bacon. Without the bacon and the salt content from the bacon, this thing is just gonna be a plain old unseasoned eggs. So with a bacon, it brings me up to five, uh, so four out of five for this uh, for this meal here. So I definitely recommend this one. It's a recommendation. I am recommending this to have. It's uh, it's it's good. It's good. Okay. Complementing that breakfast with a scrambled egg is the granola. Granola with milk and blueberries. This, I'm giving a five out of five. The reason why is just the the savoriness of this uh, of this meal it's so good it's it's uh it's delicious i don't like anything that has anything that's blueberry raspberry um strawberries anything that has a berry word in it i've never been a big fan but this one made me like it so i'm giving it five out of five um it's good it's very very good i totally enjoy this uh the old the other thing as well to uh, totally like about this is um you can use cold or boiling water, but if you're planning to get one of these for your meals, do it with hot water. It's actually really good when it's hot water. Um, it's just delicious. I have another pack of these, so I can't wait to have this for breakfast probably sometime this week. So, recommended five out of five. Okay, next one is my lunch. This is the uh, chili mac and beef. According to Mountain House, this, the people who bought this are giving it a rating of five out of five. On their website and I can actually concur that this is a five out of five meal it is delicious um, it's definitely worth it if I'm gonna go get more of these I'll definitely get more, more of these and the granola but yeah this is very good very very liking it um, unfortunately I don't have any more of these so like buy more of these okay dinner the risotto with chicken this is from uh, Backpackers Pantry. I'm giving this a five out of five. The reason why it did not lose the point because of the, the, the salt content, because it is very good. The reason why I'm giving this five out of five is just the, um, the, the flavor of it. The, um, the, the chunk of chicken, the, the, just the, um, the seasoning of it. It's just, bang on um i can do a little bit more salt because i typically i'm very sensitive to salt so so but um but typically if i if it's too salty if it's salty for me this means it's normal for everyone if it's too salty and incredibly salty that means it's too salt for a normal person so with that said it's salty for me so that means it's normal for other for from everyone else so I'm definitely recommending this one too. It's very well done, very good food. Okay, so now my dessert that I'm still trying to scrape it from my tongue is the cinnamon apple oats. You know what's missing? So, uh, sugar. What missing is sugar. Like this thing's supposed to have sugar cane. 
Mm -mm. Looks like someone just put a, a dab of sugar cane in this thing. There's not enough sugar content to to enhance the apple or to enhance the cinnamon. There's nothing like it's literally eating a cardboard box. So I'm giving this a minus one out of five. That's how I dislike this thing. It is. I rather have a Cliff Bar with peanuts in it, and I'm allergic to peanuts before I eat one of these. It's kind of harsh, I know, but if you're planning to backpack for several days and this is the meal that you choose, you need to know that this one is not going to fulfill your needs, right? If if backpacker pantry, uh, family owned by the Smith fa family since 1971, if you guys are willing to talk to me about this, I'm willing to sit down with you guys to fix this. It is, oh my gosh, it's horrible. It is not good. But if you like those food that has no flavor in it, this is perfect. Okay, that's my rent for this particular meal. So let's talk about pros and cons in this whole thing. Let's start with the pros. The pros for freeze dry food is, there is a place for this. There is a place for having this kind of meal, especially if you're going, if you're doing back country or if you're doing some type of exp expedition, if you're just going to be going away for a couple of days and you need to travel light, this setup of freeze-dry food works perfectly. The only suggestion I have is buy the meals that you're planning to get, try it at home to see if it actually works with your palate, um, and go from there. Uh, the other one as well too, there are so many varieties and companies out there that actually has freeze-dry food that, uh, that will that will um, accommodate your needs. And uh, some of them um, do have a package deal, like for example, if you're going away for seven days, you do have a seven day um, pre-made um, case of food for you to, to take away with you to for your trips. Some of them don't. Um, some of the freeze dries I've seen uh, in my local stores has the, has the, the, uh, the container, the uh, the package. The only problem is some of them you can't use it as a serving system. You have to transfer them into a um, to a, a um, pot or a pan to cook it or to rehydrate. So those kind of setup is definitely not recommended. Um, it's not very good. I don't. I'm not a very particular fan about those. The good, the purpose for you having one of these is for you to eat right in the pouch itself. And um, and minimize your utensils and your in, and the stuff that you have to wash on the trail. So having it in a pouch like this with a like, proper gusset, like all, of, all both companies has, it is great because I I don't the only thing I have in my table is this a spoon. So definitely recommend um, try go to your go to your local play, local uh, outdoor shop. Buy several, test them out. Uh, make sure if you're going by, by yourself, test it with yourself. If you're going with another partner, test it with your partner. You don't want to buy something that you haven't tested with your partner. Next thing you know, you'll be not having a good time. So, camping partner, double. Make sure that you guys get together and try out this food. Okay, now the cons. You guys heard me several times already about the cons. Uh, Right now, Mountain House and um, and uh, Backpackers Pantry does, does indicate how many milliliters of water, how many cups of water. But remember, just a few things that you have to remember. Cup of, uh, each individual manufacturer has their own definition of what this one cup of water is. Okay. Some manufacturer has a little bit more, depending on the, uh, depending on the, uh, the measuring system that they're using okay so remember that second con is this whole thing there is no water line to indicate where your water should stop after you're pouring it the reason why i was very adamant and very critic critic um very i'm criticizing both companies that doesn't have this is if you're planning to go back country camping you will not have the opportunity to, to carry a 
measuring cup. Because weight and space is priority, right? Especially if you're hiking. For you to have, if for, for you to expect the the person to have those while they're camping, you'll be sadly mistaken. You need to be a little bit more user friendly here, guys. It's uh, it's not that. It's very simple. It's literally at the back, just indicate where the line is, where the water is supposed to end. With that, you'll know exactly how the measure, the water measurement that the person needs to pour into. And to be honest with you guys, I've used an MRE before, and they actually all of them has a line to indicate where the water should stop. Okay, you guys are in the consumer world. You guys are not in, you're not in the uh, military side here, guys. If you guys are, if you guys don't have that, you guys are pretty. That's pretty shameful. You guys are doing consumer. People rely on your food for substance and, and calories and you guys will not even give us a little tiny line to indicate where your water should stop and using this in the real world like Christmas <laughs> um, I'm glad I didn't take this for camping I really glad I didn't do this I did, didn't do this during camping because I'll be very very mad I'll be very upset that you're expecting me to bring a cup of uh, measuring cup and I'm going through winter camping and weight is an issue and space. So in conclusion, highly recommend them. There's things that need to be improved, especially on the packaging of the, of, of the meal itself. Out of all five meals, uh, yeah, five meals, only one I did not like. Um, Maybe it's just this, but the other one that they actually had was pretty good. So I got this one, it's just this meal here. But uh, yeah, no, thank you very much. That's my conclusion. Thank you very much, Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, consider supporting this podcast by buying me a cup of coffee. Link in the description. You can also visit campingwithlearning.com. There you can find other episodes and links that can help you on your next camping adventures. Thanks again.